Can't believe we put our V windows in this bus. We just did. <laughs> My name is Jason from So The Land, and part of our story that we show you here on our channel is bus conversions, van conversions, and this is just one of the things that I have been doing since moving out to North Carolina. Right now, I am working with Kenny from Terravan.co in Asheville, North Carolina, and today I'm putting in flooring in this school bus conversion. You can't even be working hard on this bus. As much as you want to fly through it, it's it's still it's a lot of work all the way around, no matter what bus it is, no matter what layout it is. And I've worked on a lot of them. We're getting through it. But first time for me putting in RV windows, actual RV windows in a bus. Everything about these windows are totally custom. I would highly recommend getting rid of those school bus windows and getting RV windows. I mean, in my opinion, I think RV windows are, are it. Like it brings the uh, school bus conversion into the next level of custom. So we're putting in vinyl planks today and it's pretty much the same way how you would do a house. And then also using this underlayment underneath the flooring. I guess the uh, hard part of putting in a flooring in a bus are the wheel wells. Sometimes bus don't have wheel wells, which is pretty awesome. But since these do have wheel wells, you have to go up and over them with the flooring. It's just another thing that you have to think about when you're looking to convert a bus. For up and above the wheel wells on the sides, I'm putting some heavy duty construction adhesive on the flooring so that way it sticks on the side and then putting in a few nails to help it hold it in place until it dries. Now right here is gonna be the shower. So all this is gonna be covered on the sides so I don't necessarily have to add flooring on the sides because you're not even gonna see it and it's gonna be covered anyways because there's gonna be a wall here and then a shower, toilet area. here I'm, I'm leaving the access because this is an access panel and this is going underneath the counter so it's really going to be out of sight. All right I finished the floor well I still have to trim it out do the baseboards we chose not to do the wheel wells because they're just going to be covered anyways and to save on material because we still have to build a couch kitchen we have the shower toilet bedroom now if you're going to install flooring in a school bus, 
I've done bamboo flooring, real wood plank flooring, and it's really all your personal preference. What are you comfortable working with? Uh, it's pretty simple. These ones you just snap together. And in my opinion, I think this type of flooring is the way to go in a school bus. And then also, when installing a floor in a school bus, it's easier if you do it first before you put anything else in here, such as walls, kitchen cabinets, a couch, because it's just simpler to install that way. There's more room to spread out. You're not all crammed in trying to maneuver <laughs> around walls. But uh, we're getting it done here. But I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. And this is one of those things that I share with you on our YouTube channel, converting buses into tiny homes. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time.